smartphones have become our everyday go-to camera for taking uh, pictures or making uh, short videos. Can we improve on how we hold them? Yes, we can. I see more and more folks these days using their smartphones as their primary camera for stills and videos. Hi, I'm Bill Booz and this is a, another episode of Photography, Technology and Tools. And today's topic is smartphone holders. Uh, so it makes sense that uh, people are using their smartphones uh, to take pictures because they always have them with them. It's that old saying, you know, the camera, best camera is the one you have with you. Um, it's an easy reach into your pocket or your purse or jacket or whatever, and uh, so you use it. We do it all the time when our grandkids are, when we're watching our grandkids or when we're visiting them, uh, and most people do. And the images that you take with your smartphone, uh, you know, newer smartphones really are quality images, and, and the images themselves usually are fine, but videos oftentimes are a little shaky because people are moving around to capture what's the action that's happening. That's the nature of a video. Um, and so the videos sometimes tend, tend to be a little shaky or wobbly, as I said. Uh, I like to use some type of smartphone holder, particularly when I'm recording video. And usually that's the only time I do use these holders. So there are lots of choices. Uh, I've got two that I really am happy with, uh, and each one has its pluses and minuses. Uh, common to all smartphone holders, and these are the two that I have, um, the common to all of them is some type of holder itself, obviously, and some way to expand or contract the, how, how big that holder is to accommodate different size smartphones. Uh, what you want to really be careful about is that you get a holder that will accommodate a larger phone if you have one of the Android, the larger Android phones, or you have one of the Plus models in the iPhone line. Uh, because you want to make sure that the holder will expand to that. Now, the holders typically uh, are either spring-loaded, like, I mean, this is actually a screw-down uh, uh, device on the shoulder pod S1, and uh, th there are also ones that expand out, and they're kind of a spring load, as I was saying, and they, and they compress back to the size of the phone after it's been put in. I have some of those. Um, and this is actually a screw and, you know, sliding uh, uh, container for the holder. Um, and common to a lot of them, and not, not the, uh, this is the Joby Grip Tight POV kit, and it's useful in one particular way. Um, but common to most of these holders, not the, not the, the uh, Joby Grip Tight, uh, unfortunately, but is some type of um, quarter 20 mount. Uh, and that's the term that's used to describe these uh, little screw, screw ports that you'll find in the bottom of your camera. So you can attach your camera to a tripod. Um, and uh, you know, this is common to, to most of these devices so that you can use them in a variety of ways. So I've got too many things in my hand here, but so the, uh, the shoulder pod S1 comes with a small uh, handle, if you will, that it has a strap so it'll wrap around your wrist and, that, and that's fine. But what I've done is I've made a little PVC pipe extender that I can screw in here and that then will let me have a little more space for holding my iPhone in there or holding this in my hand um, and it will also go on a traditional tripod or any one of a number of these uh, tabletop tripods and I have quite a number of these but uh, that makes it really very handy as well so what we're going to do is you know as I said I have the Joby grip tight POV kit um, as one of my uh, choices and I have this shoulder pod S1 uh, uh, smartphone holder that expands quite, quite, quite far. So it'll take, it'll accommodate the largest of smartphones. It won't accommodate a tablet, but it'll accommodate largest of smartphones. Um, and we're going to take a closer look at both of these devices and how I use them. The first uh, holder we're going to look at is the shoulder pod S1. Uh, and the advantage of this particular uh, holder is that it has a quarter-twenty connecting point, which is much like on the bottom of your camera. 
Uh, it's uh, the type of uh, port that allows you to connect your camera to a tripod or any other quarter 20 um, screw and uh, that's what gives this an advantage. So it has this little handle on it and you would, uh, it's a, it's a uh, slider uh, holder and is adjusted by using this screw top right here to screw so if I put my camera in being or my phone in being careful to not hit the uh, volume buttons um, and screw this down to make it tight and what I'm doing is screwing this and now this won't move so that's good if I go into my phone and the, the app I typically use for doing videos is uh, Filmic Pro. So if I launch that, you can see that I'm now looking through this. So here's a uh, PVC pipe uh, holder that I'm going to show you in a second. But let, let's, uh, let's find that. <laughs> Where is it? Um, so right there. You can see I'm kind of close to it. Um, Right there. So I can use this by putting my hand through the strap and making it like a wrist strap. That gives me a better grip on the hold, the, the short holder. And then I can pan around and take videos of whatever is in front of my camera. Okay, so that's that. But this is a bit small. So what I've done is I've made this PVC pipe extender. Uh, I can still use the strap I'm not gonna put it on right now and screw this in you can see it's just a regular screw quarter inch screw and now I've got a, a little bit more to grip on uh, for holding the phone and panning to make get smooth video not very elegant looking but I could paint it black and that would make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing I guess um, okay so the advantage of this particular device is that it does have this quarter 20 which means I can attach it to other things such as this extender and, uh, it's like a regular tripod or I could use you know any number of desktop tripods you know a lot Joby makes a lot of uh, Gorillapod desktops Manfrotto does and a lot of manufacturers do this is an old uh, uh, ultrapod I believe that I've had that my brother-in-law gave me probably 30 years ago I've kept it so it is a another thing that I can use uh, and it's nice because I can move around it's still a little tall for the screen I realize but so I can put this up and let it record my me you know if I want to do a, uh, an inter, um, a, a selfie kind of video or if I just want to video uh, maybe put it close to a flower and and it takes a picture of the flower with the bees buzzing around it and so on. So that makes this very handy. And it's uh, one of the advantages, in my mind, of having a holder that has a three uh, quarter 20 connector. So that's the shoulder pod S1. The holder we're going to look at is the Joby Grip Tight POV Kit. A big name for a small thing. Uh, it comes to you like so, and um, this bends out. And you can tighten it, and many people have said uh, that uh, this doesn't tighten it a whole lot, and they're absolutely right. Um, and this is the holder itself, which expands by loosening the screw back here to accommodate your phone. And so if I put this in here, and then push this down, and again, watching not to hit the volume buttons on your phone and then I'm screwing this tight in the back so this red this plastic holder turns the screw makes it tight uh, it is very comfortable to use though so you put three fingers through the holder itself and again you it's giving you the stability that you need when you're doing videos so if I um, go to my filmic pro and I can pan very smoothly and that is is good to um, when you're doing videos now one of the things that's nice about this uh, particular holder is that it has this it comes with a Bluetooth button and um, this allows you you know you pair it with your phone and you will allow you to re to fire the camera in your phone remotely uh, or 
you know, without hitting the, because, you know, if you're pressing the button, or rather pressing the, the, the release button on your phone. So if I'm in the regular camera app, if I'm in the regular camera app and I'm on, uh, let's go to photo, and I push this to take a picture. So let's put this PVC pipe thing here. And I push this button to take the picture. I'm really moving the, the camera some. But if I use this, um, uh, it's paired, but I'm not sure that it's going to work because I haven't used it recently with this. But if I go and push this button, I'm pushing up, so I'm not pushing against the camera, if you will, and do that, it would take the picture the same way. It didn't because I don't have it paired right now. Um, so that's that's a nice feature, and that comes with the, um, the holder. Another nice feature is this cold shoe at the top, uh, which allows you to put in uh, like a microphone or a light that has a, a cold shoe, a hot shoe kind of connector as this uh, Ceremonic wireless mic transmitter does. So I can put this, let me make that a little bit wider, put this in the top holder and then attach this to my, my iPhone. I now can use a wireless mic and it's going to record. I normally would use the video micro up here, but I'm using that to record this session, so I can't show you that. But uh, that really is a nice, it's one of the nice things about this particular uh, holder, the, the Joby holder. So that is the Joby Griptite POV kit. Thank you very much for checking in uh, on this episode of Photography and Technology Tools. And I hope you'll join us again the next time we produce a video. Please, if you found this useful, show it, click on the like button uh, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Good day.